Good work. Perfect. All right, who's, who's got this? Who's got it? Nobody's got it. Who's going to come out and try it? It's okay if you screw it up. It means you're learning something new. That's what we want. All right? Who's going to come out here and show it? No. All right, come on. I was just about to call somebody out to it. Just so you guys know, when I look out, whoever is trying the hardest to not make eye contact with the coach is guaranteed to get pulled out here to the middle. So when I say volunteers, everybody starts kind of looking around here like, like a guilty dog. You know, here's got a dog. Your dog ever does that bad, you yell at it and it never looks at you. That's what I'm talking to me. That's some of you guys look there. You guys are volunteers. You guys are moving around. Let's see it, gang. Side to side. up. Back to the Freeze. So I'm going to correct a few things here as we go. Get back in there. I'm going to correct a few things as we go. Right? You sit you can keep your butt down on your heels. Butt down on your heels. Pressure back into him the whole time. There you go. The whole time we're working on turn, we want back pressure into the guy. Now, now start to turn. Replace the hands. Bring it up. Back to your feet. Circle. Circle. Alright? Not bad. We had a question out there. What happens if the guy kicks as I'm trying to transition there? It's going to happen. Sooner or later, you're going to wrestle somebody when you're trying to come out the back there and they kick. Hold on tight. That's why you have a good grip on the heel. That's better control than grabbing on the guy's ankle. He kicks, you're going to be able to hold on, but you've got to be a little bit of an athlete there to be ready to wrestle. Some guys are going to kick, you've got to be able to stay with them. All right, can you go again? Up. That's a better back pressure. Circle, circle, circle. Climb the body. Turn him to pinning. Not bad. Give him a hand. Partner, your turn. We're going to work the kinks out here as we keep going. Knees got to come up, break. Get those knees a little bit higher. Go back. Go back. Start over again. As soon as your head goes past the knee, those knees have to fly up underneath the chin. There you go. Now start to flip. Get this hand on the heel. Not quite. Get that hand down there on the heel. Back pressure into the guy. There you go. Turn, turn, turn. Keep your chin. Bring it up. Keep your shoulder. So I want you to work on climbing the guy's leg and not just get one leg and dive it across the other. So when I'm getting this single leg, what I'm saying is, I don't want to go for one leg and try to dive across for the other leg. Work on climbing one leg and then changing two. So as I get here, I climb the leg, put my shoulder right below the guy's butt. Now, I can put that pressure in front of my feet. Gather both legs. Don't go for one leg, low on one leg, and try to dive across for the other. Climb one leg, circle your feet. Alright? One more time. Back pressure, back pressure, get your butt down on your heels. There you go. That's the key there. Stand up. One more time. You change off to that grip to one leg. When you're starting to climb the leg, come to your feet. Uh, you don't want to climb the leg. I don't want to climb this guy's leg from my knees here. Don't be afraid to grab your feet. Here. Now I can circle my feet. Don't rush that. You can take this slow. There you go. Give him a hand. Give me one more group. Who else is going to come out here and do it? All right, come on. You. You were looking over there. You know the drill. I just warned you about this, too. You get to go first. Yes. We got him it the whole time. All right, give him a hand. No pressure. He's coming up. Turn, turn, turn. Hey, go back. You got it. You got it. You got it. Now. There it is, right there. That was the best, smoothest one that we've seen out here so far. Go one more time. Go smooth transition. Knees come up, so knees up. Carol, shoulders stay high. Circle, circle, circle. Very nice. Give a hand. Very good. Really pivoting on your hips there. Keep your weight back into the guy. Good stuff. Keep his foot high up in the air. We covered this. It was me and you a second ago, right? Come on back here, Elijah. 
What happens if he would drop up and down to the mat? He gets in there at a low level, he's, cut, he's doing everything right, he starts to come out the back like we just taught, he's transitioning with a single leg, and then he lets my foot drop down to the mat, now he ends up here. And he could be stuck here for, you know, 30, 45 seconds, maybe finish, maybe not. But the battle you don't want to be in unless you have to. We can avoid this. He keeps my foot up in the air, keeps that shoulder high. I can't get to my wizard here. That's why that detail is really important. Keep picking my foot up. There, now he can drive his shoulder up, circle, place me up there. All right, freestyle, keep turning them. Get your points. All right, but that's why those details are are important to keep you out of those bad positions. All right? Any questions over this finish? I know we kind of flew through it. No questions right now? Keep this in mind. You're going to screw this finish up a few times before you get it right. But that's okay. I mean, that's why you're at camp to learn things new. If you're just here to learn things that you did perfectly every time, you're not learning anything new. So don't be afraid of the fact that it's going to feel a little bit awkward at the beginning. All right? What you got here, we're going to write this stuff down between sessions. We're going to wrestle later. Try, try it when you're wrestling live. Put this stuff into action, all right? So you can get better at it. Okay? We're going to move on to another finish. All right? Uh, easiest finish is head and the knee. If my head goes past his knee and I get stuck, my knees come up and I try to lift. All right? We just covered that. I'm really trying to lift hard. One of this guy is pretty good. He puts a lot of weight on my head, which keeps me from being able to lift. All right? So, he goes chest wrap or crotch lock or. Um, you know, anything on the defense that makes it hard for me to raise up. So, I attack the leg, I'm trying to, and now I'm trying to raise up, and he's really good at making himself really heavy here. And I'm trying to sit, stay with him. I'm trying to sit, and I just can't come out the back. Right, that's the position we're going to work on now. Notice what happens when he gets really heavy there. Is he's going to create a little bit of separation between his body and, uh, and, and my body when he's trying to really stay heavy there. All right, so I'm going to commit to lifting the guy's leg and try to come out the back door. You've got to commit to that finish. All right, the harder he fights, the better this next finish looks. So he's trying really hard to stay heavy and keep my head down on the mat. All I'm going to do is drop my butt back down to my heels and pull my head back into his knee. But it only works if I commit to coming out the back first. All right? So I'm in here and I'm really committed to coming out the back. I'm really trying hard to lift and he's just too heavy. I'm just going to drop my butt back and then I'll take my head back to his knee again. And then from here, it's the same finish we did before. Head in the knee, back to the knee, I'm going to rub my feet away from that leg. It's always running my feet away from the leg that I have. You never want to go to the same side of the body. All right, always taking my feet to the other side. Keep your hips heavy. All right, here's what happens if I don't. I get head and knee. I'm trying to finish here. My hips start coming up in the air. He starts pulling up. Here's what happens. End up in this position. So I keep my body heavy, my hips heavy here. I'll show you what that looks like. I keep my hips heavy. On that finish up here, he's trying to pull me up to his body. I stay heavy. Heavy down low on his leg. And my feet are always moving away from the leg that I have. So I'm going to be circling to the right here. Once I cross his legs up, he can't fight it anymore. He's done. And don't take these points for granted. If you got somebody who can scrap and doesn't want to give up a takedown, they're not just going to concede either. Don't take them for granted. Finish the takedown. Run your feet all the way around the guy's body. So one more time what this looks like. I hit my low level, and I'm in, and I'm trying to lift. I'm really being heavy. Drop my butt back down. Roll my head to the knee. Easy punch. Stay low on his leg, don't let him pull you up. If you can get good at coming out the back, and he, he defends that, then rolling your head back to the knee, it's very good to finish at low level. Whether you like to hit a low level or not, like my man back there, he says no, never hit a low level. Not even going to pretend to try. All right, but he's going to end up on the leg at some point. You know how to finish it. Right? If you do, two points you wouldn't have had otherwise. You, you learn one thing new here, you learn one new takedown that actually scores points, the price position right there. All right. That's points you never would have had. All right. Questions over this? One more time. Really important for your partner to stay heavy. I'll give you a good look. We'll do it one more time. I'm in on the leg. He's being a good partner. He stays really heavy. I can't sit. He's really heavy. Roll your head back to the knee. Circle your feet. Finish. Freestyle. Keep rolling. Full style. Pop up your body. You guys with me? Alright, let's go finish the takedowns on three. One, two, three!